everyone, my name is Libby. If you don't already know from my other videos, I will be attending Northwestern University this fall to be a part of their acting MFA program, class of 2025. This video is just gonna outline my personal reasons for choosing this school and this program. Basically just like pros of Northwestern MFA. And the acting MFA is a super, super brand new program. I think it started in 2019, like right before the pandemic. The class um, of 2025 is only the third class that they've recruited like ever. Yeah, super young. There are not a lot of us out there. Uh, yeah, this is to help anybody else who might be interested. So let's jump right into it. Number one reason the biggest reason, the hugest deciding factor in choosing Northwestern's acting MFA program is that it is free tuition. And on top of that, they offer free healthcare. And on top of that, they offer a very, very generous stipend. I'll put the exact amount that they're offering for the 2023 to 2024 school year somewhere here, but um, there was no competition of the amount that they were offering compared to other schools that I was researching or applied to or got offers from, no competition. I will not have to be taking out student loans to attend Northwestern. I will not have to have a part-time job to cover living expenses like amazing, I can't believe, like I don't know what Northwestern is getting from giving us all this money, but I am just thankful. And that definitely like sold me on choosing the school uh, as opposed to other ones. Second biggest reason that I chose Northwestern is the location. They are based in Chicago, Illinois. Northwestern main campus is actually in Evanston, Illinois, which is like right on the Northern border of Chicago. But most of the acting classes, the graduate acting classes happen in downtown Chicago, like really literally smack dab in the heart of Chicago. And that was very attractive to me. I will be coming from New York and I love New York. This is very unfortunate, but acting opportunities vary a lot depending on where you are. And the closer you are to a major city, the more acting opportunities there are. Having lived in New York, I really feel that. That was something I really didn't want to give up. And yeah, Chicago, Northwestern happens to be in Chicago. You know, that's the home of Steppenwolf, of Looking Glass. There are so many opportunities to audition, um, so many things filming in the city. And even just being immersed in like new plays, musicals, every major tour like goes through Chicago, of course, like new musicals and new plays always do tryouts in Chicago before they move to New York. Just a lot of theater and, and TV and film action happening. So I just wanted to be, somewhere that had an established acting scene like that. Also, I was considering like the possibility of staying in Chicago after school. Like if I move to, um, for example, like Tennessee for an MFA, there's not a big possibility that I was going to stay in that area after I graduated. And I was just thinking ahead of moving expenses and the hassle of having to go there for two, three years and then come back. And in Chicago, I could envision myself staying there after school because again, there are so many opportunities. And I guess like reason 2.5 is that the faculty are all currently working professionals in the Chicago theater scene. So they're all active, they're all like up to date. I had a bunch of teachers at my old conservatory. They had somewhat old fashioned, outdated ideas. Like you have to wear jewel tones, like you can't wear your Leducas for showcase, or you have to have the color of your eyes and the color of your hair stated on your resume. No, you don't because you know why? Because there's literally a color headshot on the back of your resume at all times. She was thinking like when headshot photos used to be black and white, you know, all that to say, I can trust that the faculty are gonna be like up to date and have a really good grasp on like the pulse of the current industry. Number three is the program is two years as opposed to three or even four years at other MFA programs. Now, I have already done a BFA, not in musical theater, but I already did four years. And on top of that, I went to New York to attend an acting conservatory for two years. Four years definitely seemed like super daunting to me. 
and three years was even stretching and I was like, do I want to do school again for three years? And two years was like, sweet spot. I can manage that. That's realistic for me. My other conservatory that I attended previously was two years and I know that that was enough for me to get what I need out of a program. I had such a great experience for those two years that it was like a good parallel for me. What else? Okay, number four. The faculty was diverse and I knew that I needed that as somebody who is a person of color and who has attended a conservatory that was predominantly white faculty, like 95% white faculty. You know, representation matters not only on movie screens and TV screens, representation matters in everyday life. I just really needed to have people of color on the faculty and Northwestern was like majority people of color. Reason number three, I think, um, is that Northwestern has singing classes and dancing classes. Uh, I'm a very confident actor. I am not a confident singer at all. Do you know how hard it is to sing consistently outside of school if you are a mediocre singer like me? The world is very unforgiving and I love singing. I love singing and Trying to become a better singer takes a lot of money outside of a school setting. Vocal lessons in New York start at $100 an hour and 100 is like being really cheap. I really just missed that consistency and structure and really wanted to take advantage of an MFA program uh, that had singing classes and Northwestern does. Okay, reason number four I chose Northwestern was the um, prestige of the school. Everybody knows Northwestern. It's a very good school. Their BA Bachelor of Arts theater program has been around for decades and has a very good reputation. They produce really strong actors and their MFA directing program has been around a lot longer than the acting program as well and they produce directors who work and on faculty is Anna D, D. Shapiro who is a Tony Award winning former director of Steppenwolf Theatre Company. So yeah, they're established and people talk and the industry is very small and they know what Northwestern kids do. To be, be able to join that um, felt really good for me. And Northwestern isn't there yet. but I feel like it really has the potential with the location, with the faculty, with um, the curriculum, I really feel like it will build up to becoming that level. And I believe in that. And I believe in the current name value of the school right now. And the next reason is that I just liked the vibes of Northwestern. And that sounds silly, but it really, matters how you feel towards a school. Your gut is not wrong. And I've heard this advice over and over again that like you're auditioning the school as well. And you're seeing if it's a good fit for you. First impression of Northwestern was great. I first met Northwestern through Stan Brown and Sandra Marquez at Erda's. And I had a great experience with that initial meeting. And then I had a second round was interviews with Helena and Stan. And um, again, very relaxed. And it felt more like a conversation than a test uh, as interviews often did for me. But yeah, they were even funny, they were friendly, they were making jokes. And then Northwestern didn't have this in the application process, but I know other schools do where they have a callback weekend where they physically invite you to the school and you can take classes, meet the professors and the current students and the alum and just get a good read on the school. Northwestern didn't offer it. So I did two things that I highly recommend if you can swing it. The first was that I asked the school to connect me with a current student or a recent grad so I could get some firsthand accounts and they were very like efficient and fast about getting me somebody who was willing to talk. They connected me with a current student named Matt 
and I met. This was like the best possible person that they could have connected me with. He was very positive, had positive experiences about the school, was so articulate and informative. Oops as I was saying. He gave me a lot of um, information, not just about school and professors and how he got along with his cohort, but how uh, he was able to afford living in Chicago if he needed to get a part-time job. He didn't, nobody needed to get a part-time job because the stipend is amazing. And if they had good contact with like industry people and agents and managers, and yeah, everything was, green light like thumbs up and then this one's a little creepier um i don't know if it's gonna work for everybody but i found somebody who was a recent grad who was working like right out of school and she was on the showcase 2022 website that northwestern had created you know for their graduating class and she had a homepage, she had a resume and she had her professional work email on that resume so i just reached out and she was super friendly like lucky me and she also gave her honest opinion about the school and again i was like okay this is all this is all great <laughs> and then i really wanted to make sure that this was the right school for me so i asked the school if i could possibly i know this sounds crazy but can i go and audit some classes um, since there is no call that weekend and they were immediately like sure like come on over So we chatted and we figured out the logis logistics of you know what classes I can go to and what would be good Really great timing. They were right in rehearsals for their showcase and I was able to fly to Chicago, you know, I had to spend a few hundred dollars, but I thought it was worth it. I went, I met with the students, I got to audit their classes, I saw how Sandra taught, I saw how Stan taught, I liked it, and they had a share day where the students were encouraged to bring in something that they were very passionate about and just like really freely share it. So one student brought in a piece that they wrote, one student brought in a song that they wrote, and one student brought, brought in like a poem that really spoke to them. I really just like liked the openness of, and ease of it and I, I could see myself there. I felt like I fit in. I just even to see Chicago, like the environment that I'd be living in um, and see and checking out what buses and train stations that I should live near that was really a great idea. So if you can swing it, I would recommend like those methods if you don't have a callback weekend officially for your school. So yeah, those were a few of the reasons that I chose Northwestern. I will try my best to do a video in a similar nature a year later after I've actually experienced the program because yes, like take everything I said with a grain of salt because I, I haven't actually gone to the school yet this is just from the perspective of somebody who decided to go so i'll see if these reasons like all held up um after having actually attended the program all right have a great day good luck on your mfa journey and bye bye catch you later